Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, the campaign version of the game, which is a new patch. Uh, we've played it a little bit on the channel already, we completed a British campaign, and we started a German campaign, uh, which was interrupted by a patch, which basically corrupted the save and so in our last episode we started a new campaign as the germans in 1890 uh, and we are in the midst of our war with great britain which is what the campaign is right now uh, in our first video we did manage to win a couple of battles sinking an enemy battleship um, i think one or two armored cruisers and uh, several light cruisers we did lose one CL ourselves, uh, but overall the war is going well so far. We've got 3,400 victory points to just shy of 500 British victory points. Our shipyard size is only 9,000 tons, so it's pretty small. We're working on expanding that. Uh, and our monthly balance is 2.2 million in the positive with $10 million in the bank. We're not building anything right now, but that might change soon. We are working on some new research here. We're going to get better torpedo propulsion in two months. And then we're also investing in better engines, triple expansion, steam engines, and a new cruiser hull design. Uh, but those are a little bit further out. Uh, in today's video, we've got two battles to choose from. We've got a, a convoy battle with nine enemy transports uh, being attacked by two of our light cruisers. The enemy has an armored cruiser and two CLs that are be going to be coming to their convoy's aid. And then we also have a sort of standard heavy cruiser fleet action off the coast of Sunderland. Perhaps our armored cruisers are moving in to bombard the British town, and four British armored cruisers will intercept our four German armored cruisers. Uh, the British armored cruisers have 8-inch guns, ours have 7, but I think we might have more armor or something like that. Uh, we do have torpedoes and they don't, so that does give us an advantage there. We're going to look at the cruiser battle, but I think let's take a look at the convoy fight first and see how that plays out. I would like to withdraw, but I can't, so we're going to go ahead and jump in here and fight it. I don't trust the AI to auto-resolve a, uh, a battle where we're heavily outnumbered in terms of the weight of metal that can be tossed. So our CLs are apparently already in range of something, because they're shooting. Alright, so there's the enemy merchant task force, at least the first ship in the convoy. We're already firing off our shells at it. Uh, as a reminder, our light cruisers have 14, I think it is, 4-inch guns. And then we have um, a couple of 3-inch guns in casemates, and then we have four torpedo mounts. All right, so the enemy ships do appear to have guns and are shooting back. So their merchants do have um, some firepower. Uh, we're firing off our forward guns. The four inchers are quick firing guns in mounts. They're not in turrets, so they've got a gun shield. Um, so let's go ahead and pair off a little bit. I don't know where the enemy warships are but we're going to go ahead and turn a little bit so we can get more guns into action i think we have hit this lead transport a bit i believe but i'm trying to get more of our broadside into action here all these ships so far are just the merchants We'll slow up a bit to, let's say, 17 knots. That should make our guns more accurate. We'll still be considerably faster than any other transports. We'll also go ahead and turn our torpedoes off, because I don't want to waste those firing at enemy merchant ships. These are all still merchants. got the raw stock in the rear of the convoy let's go ahead uh, or the rear of the formation we'll fire at this other transport here with the raw stock Ausberg will continue firing in the lead she's flooding and down to about 80 damage it's really just a question of when the enemy warships come into action for us to win just on transports we have to sink all nine enemy merchants that probably won't happen because what I'm going to assume is going to happen here is we are going to end up getting intercepted by the enemy cruisers before we can finish off all the merchants, and they're probably going to scatter a bit. I think these two merchants are colliding out here. 
stalwart is taking some damage. You know what? Screw it. You can fire torpedoes. Alright, so they're turning away. This guy looks like he's going to collide with Stalwart, though. Maybe they'll just miss. Still no sign of the enemy warships. Took a penetration hit there. So I should keep the torpedoes off on these guys. Man, we're taking some damage here. Ausberg's gotten three hit, three compartments have taken damage so far. Guys below 50. Work on stalwart here. It's dead in the water right in front of you. This has to be the entire transport formation, though. Five flooding damage. Stalwart's gonna go down real fast. Now the whole bottom of the ship is flooding. More enemy ships are colliding. Oh shit, someone fired a torpedo? Was it Rostock? Yeah. Fired a torpedo at an enemy ship that is already sinking. What a waste. You can fire if you want, because none of these guys are, like, about to sink. But if you do shoot, I'd really like you to shoot at something that's not... You know, already going under. Alright, one fish is away. So switch your fire to the ship you didn't shoot the torpedo at. It's gonna be a stern shot, but I think it's a hit. Yep. I'm gonna assume that enemy ship will sink. Oh, we fired two fish. Okay. Second one missed, though. Ausberg's taking a fair bit of structural damage. Not really what I want to see before we go toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with enemy armored cruisers. All right, fish away at this guy at Marimon. Hit midship. I assume she will sink. Tona taking damage here. Ausberg is pulling out a line. Wow. 50. Oh my god, look at that float damage. Down to 60 from enemy merchants? Five. Four. Three. Enemy heavy shells coming in. To our rear. So the enemy cruisers have arrived. Oh, starts on the lead ship. Can you please just get a couple hits in? They're pumping the water out. Detach and sail over this way. At least Ausberg has fixed her uh, flooding situation. It's a zero achieved. We've definitely sunk some enemy merchants. Is that the enemy cruisers? Yeah, there's one of their armored cruisers here. They have six inch guns and turrets. All 
All right, she's a flame. Over pen, still down to 17 float. Basically no engines. Just don't fire any torpedoes off at them. She's got to be a goner now, right? Merriman? Enemy warships are sailing in here. We're going to double back. Come on, Merriman. Die. Look at all this fire coming in on our light cruisers. Dead in the water, below 40 structure, below 20 float. Can't finish her off. Seraph is going to sink, though. There we go. Right, is that the enemy armor? Yeah. All right, so our cruisers are split pretty disastrously. So we're going to turn in with this northern cruiser, who's not being fired on, by the way, by the enemy cruisers yet. They're all focusing on the Ausberg. Can you hit him? What's the hit percentage here? Just a 6%? All right. Fire through smoke. Turn, face your broadside at the enemy CL. And I guess go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. The one nice thing is the enemy ships here are... definitely... <laughs> all jumbled up. Torpedo away on the Rostock, aiming at the Shannon, which is an armored cruiser with 8-inch guns. That's going to hit. Nice. Near the, uh, near the stern of the ship, we'll swing around and hopefully get another fish off on this armored cruiser. Enemy seals are turning toward my light. Let's slow things up a bit. I think two torpedoes is going to be more than enough to deal with this enemy armored cruiser. Meanwhile, we're firing torpedoes down the throat of the enemy lead enemy protected cruiser, which is ablaze, but is still in pretty good shape. We're going to turn away from them. I'm assuming one CL will be enough to knock out, or one torpedo will be enough to knock out the CL. Second torpedo hit on the armored cruiser. And she's sinking. Oh, we missed. The fish went behind. All right, we'll turn around. Don't let them fire torpedoes at you. In any event, we got the armored cruiser. Another enemy transport's going to eat a fish. There we go. Okay. I think the enemy just fired into their own merchant ship. Yeah, the enemy's friendly fire for the enemy exists too. All right, they're going to finish off their own ship with their with their 6-inch shells. Thank you uh Shell Drake for being our uh shield for the enemy CLs. Torpedo hit. 
the attentive. So our stern shot did move in and hit the lead enemy P CL. And now just the one enemy warship remains. And then we can mop up the enemy merchants, or what's left of them. Okay. Psyche, or whatever it's called. Right, Thrasher's taking a pounding. She's taking a thrashing. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. All right, so we'll continue pounding this TR. I don't even think we need to waste a torpedo on it. Yep, she's sinking. So now we'll go for the leopard, which is the northernmost, I think. East and northeasternmost enemy merchant. House bird, meanwhile, is chasing the Psyche, which can make 18 knots. Our own ship can make better than that, 20 knots. So we'll speed up a bit. And then we'll have to see if we can turn back and get what's left of the transports. Rostock, you turn down. We'll engage the enemy CL. We'll cut it off. Maybe you fire a torpedo at it as it as it goes. If you can hit it from here. Maybe not. Alright, switch your fire. Engage the, the psyche. Okay, stern chase here between the Ausberg. Fired a torpedo down our throat. The only good thing is it's a bow shot, which should make it easier to avoid. But I think that's going to hit. Fuck. Reverse return. Oh, just missed. Thank God. Come on, Rostock. I, I turned the wrong direction. Rostock should have reversed... So to turn the other direction. Right. So now we're both in behind the enemy CL. I think the battle might automatically end once the last warship is sunk, but I'm not. Well, no, I think it'll continue actually. All right, so we're doing some damage, engine damage to the enemy ship here. Some flotation damages. Oh, wow. Serious flotation damage. One more compartment flooded, and I think it'll sink. It? Getting some overpens and fires here. Torpedo fired from Rostock's bow. The enemy stern tube's still a little ways away from being reloaded. Not even sure it matters, but if that fish does hit, it's goner. Fired another one from our broadside. Looks like that bow shot missed. But the uh, broadside shot hit, so the Psyche's dead. And that's gonna end the battle. Yeah, I guess it doesn't let me finish off the merchants. Huh. In any event, that's a victory. 1,700 enemy crew is killed versus 23 of our own. Minor damage to our light cruisers. We sank the heavy cruiser Shannon, the light cruisers Psyche, and Attentive. We sank the transports or merchants Stalwart, Seraph, Eden, Sheldrake, and Thrasher. The Leopard and another merchant made it away safely. Another merchant badly damaged, and the Latona suffered moderate damage. So five merchants sunk, three warships at no losses for our own. Pretty effective battle. 
1,500 more German victory points. The British Navy loses more vital cruisers. And now an armored cruiser battle between the German and British Empire here. Four on each side. I really think torpedoes are sort of in the early war. It seems like when you when you don't have good gunnery, the torpedoes are really the, the secret weapon, if you will. Looks like our task force is just a single battle line of our heavy cruisers. All in line behind each other. All right, everybody. Unfortunately, we're going to have to jump ahead from this battle all the way to August. We're jumping from May to August because this cruiser battle you were just looking at, no enemy ships were brought into contact. We engaged three or four other times, and every time the enemy fled before we could actually engage them. So we're actually jumping several months ahead because I haven't been able to force a battle. There was one minor battle, which I auto-resolved, which ended up as a draw. But other than that, I haven't been able to fight until this CL action here with the, with the Munchen. Uh, that we're going to go ahead and wa witness now. The last, I don't want to, I mean the last, I don't know, four or five battles we've tried to close with an enemy ship and we have not been able to, um, including some pretty large battles like five heavy cruisers and whatnot involved. And every single time the enemy sails away from us. This is the first time in like three months that we've actually been able to close and engage an enemy. It's an armored cruiser versus CL. So they've definitely got a... Uh, advantage in terms of firepower here but i'm i'm willing to chance it i think part of the problem is their their armored cruisers have almost 20 knots worth of speed so when i'm chasing them with like my own armored cruisers which are much slower they can just turn away if they don't want to fight the battle and then i can never close so it does give the british sort of the ability to control the engagement also by turning away at almost 20 knots the armored cruiser is going to be able to keep me out of torpedo range for an extended period of time while they use their superior caliber guns against me. They've got eight inchers and four inchers. Um, so we'll have to hopefully like hit them and slow them down a little bit before they damage me too much. Because they probably don't want to be in range of my torpedoes. But at least we're shooting at the enemy now. Crews are starting, we've gone like three or four months since our last fight, but those months at sea are allowing our crews to get trained up. So we have trained crews now. We just had a penetration of a four-inch shell hit against the enemy. Down near the rudder, it looks like. Must have been some plunging fire. Oof. Eight-inch overpen near our bow from the enemy. Four-incher as well, starting a fire in the same spot on the ship. So it's the Spartate? Versus the Munchen. We're at three kilometer range. Got a nice little angle to close a little bit there. We got a second hit. This one with a three inch secondary. So he's sailing left to right across our bow. So that'll actually help us close a little bit more, more quickly. Hopefully. Anyway, that's the theory. Presumably he's, he did that to try and get more of his main guns into action. Oh, he's turning. He really wants to get his main guns into action, so he's turning to bring his full broadside to bear. I'm just going to go charge straight at the guy and try and get our torpedoes into action here before he can hurt me too much. Throw smoke out as well. It'll reduce my own accuracy, but... Hopefully reduces his more. It's really going to cut across my bow, huh? That is not what I would do if I was him, but... Alright, we're inside torpedo range. One fish is away. That's actually was our right broadside torpedo. He's going to turn to avoid. Second fish is away. Our other broadside. Although that's going to miss two. He's in the midst of a turn. Catch him at the end of that turn though with our bow mount. We might be able to... Oh god, are we going to ram him on accident? 
dead in the water? Why did he stop? All right, there we go. Torpedo hit. I don't know which... Wow. All it took was a single fish. And we sank an enemy armored cruiser. Well, that went well. I'll take that. Another victory for the German Navy. As the Munchen destroys the Spartate. 13 armored cruisers for them left. Meanwhile, we've got two CLs against RCL, and then they also have five transports. So we should be able to force a battle here. The light cruisers are reinforcing. Let me smoke spotted to the northwest. We're already at times five, which means we're in close, although it is cloudy with moderate waves and evening. So a whole bunch of accuracy penalties. Which, I don't know if that means we're not going to spot the enemy till we're, like, right on top of them. We'll have to see. But it is giving us times five, which means we're already close. There they are. Alright, there's five enemy merchants. We've spotted three of them already. We'll try and cut off the head of the column. What's this? All right, so we've got all one, two, three, four, five. All right, that should be all five. Hmm. The teaser. The Arno. The Vesex, or Wessex, no hits here so far. Let's just hit the Arno then, she's in close. Probably fire a torpedo at her too. I don't think these, uh, will turn torpedoes off actually. I don't think these enemy ships that we're fighting here, for the first time, the enemy merchants don't have guns to shoot back at. So these guys, we can close in with no real risk of damage and just light these guys up. Arno, you can see we're coming alongside our broadside of seven four-inchers, just pounding into them at close range. And immediately the enemy goes down. There we go. Nice hit on the S on the Wessex. I'm gonna keep trying to chase down the uh, teaser here. We'll go broad. We'll go yard arm to yard arm with him. Okay, Carl Shrew. Enemy warships are firing at me. I just saw a shell splash. Turn a little bit. Engage the teaser. There they are. Alright, let's fire into this guy. The interesting thing is by crossing in front of the teaser, the enemy cruiser is probably going to fire into their own ship. They are. Look at all this damage they're doing. Some of their own, their own shell hits here. They're the top or the bottom. Got an enemy merchant on each side, or enemy warship on each side of us. The Chamons. Switch fire to the enemy light cruiser. Gotta be careful here. The Barossa. and fire. We're outside of torpedo range here. They've got six inch guns, but we've got a much more rapid firing broadside. We've got seven guns on a broadside, four inchers. They fire much more quickly than the six inchers and turrets. Uh, we just took a took a hit there, though, from a six incher. Doing some flotation damage and also damaged our engines. Up 
mosquitoes on. Carl Shore's flooding situation's not great. Your seals are moving to join. We're all under smoke now. Now they have their broadsides fully in action while we are pointed the wrong direction, really. Trying to get our torpedoes into action, that's risky because the enemy has fish as well. But it's probably our best chance, evening the odds bet before the gunnery does too much damage. Enemy fired a torpedo, it's going to miss to our starboard, I believe. One of our fish is away. Assuming he's going to turn to avoid it. Yeah. But by giving me a stern, I can get uh, all of my broadside in. Well, he can only get a few. Oh, shit. Oh, it's too late. Hit a midship. Well, we're going to sink. We're going to lose this battle, boys. First one I've lost to the AI in a while. Any chance I can get a fish out and at least take one enemy seal with me? Give me a stern tube out. Alright. There's the fish. I think it's gonna hit. Yep. So I think we'll take the Barossa with us. Carl Shore, meanwhile, we've repaired a fair bit of damage. We took a torpedo hit, but we have repaired some of our damage. So one CL sunk so far. We're not dead yet. And the Brisk is aflame. Wessex is flooding badly. Well, she sailed in front of the enemy cruiser and took friendly fire, or if that was our own good fortune. Both of these ships are making very little headway. I think they must have collided. Yeah, we're only making four knots. You shoot at the Wessex. Maybe you get a lucky hit or two and sink it. Meanwhile, the Brisk does have one of their turrets out of action. You can see the little red icon here represents a destroyed turret. And there, 71 damage. How many enemy merchants are left? We've sunk Four, two out of five, I think. Okay. Repair the engines, boys. Give me any kind of indication on when it'll be fixed. The enemy is just sitting in smoke, dead in the water. We're sitting in smoke, making four knots. definitely fired more than 20 rounds. We should have scored a hit by now. One in 20 is supposed to be a hit for us on this. It does not seem to be anything like that. There we go. Alright, fire at the Brinsk. That was an overpen and flooding. So you can see there they've got some flotation damage in the front of the ship. Are they going to collide again? 
It'd be great if their cruiser goes behind and then blasts the Wessex out of the water, but it looks like it's going to pass in front. Our penetration and fire. 100 damage there. Meanwhile, we did get a hit on the enemy cruiser. We got a flotation hit. We got a fire hit. Another penetration and fire. Lower percentage and we're doing better on hitting the CL. Who would have thunk? Still only making four knots. Will we survive if we sink the enemy CL? We might win another decisive victory, but if we, uh, if we die ourselves, then maybe it'll be a slight advantage for us? Or a draw. Can't really do anything. I'm so slow. All I can do is hope to hit him as he sails away. Penetration and fire there. My crew are regular. His crew are green. So that is factoring into gunnery here. Let's see the brisk is burning all over the damn thing. Another hit there. Flood. Nice. Engine 2 damaged, fire and flooding. Alright, so... He's got two engines down as well. I don't even want to change course right now. We're getting, we're getting some solid hits. Structure damage down to 37. Thirty-two, thirty-one. Fire's chewing through the hull a bit. Couple more hits and it might be a goner. And again, we've got less than two percent accuracy at this range. Thing is, we might start shooting through the Wessex to get to it, which is almost sunk too. By the way, when a target is between you and your target, especially when they're friendly, it seems like every shell that flies over hits. Maybe not here that I'm, now that I'm saying that, but. Can we speed up a little bit? Penetration and fire, fuck. Got a hit. Enemy's rudder's damaged. His structure's down to 18%. That fire is doing work. It's still burning. He might just burn out. Pen fire. Over pen fire. Wessex is going to sink, I think. down to 10, 9. What an exciting battle. Bunch of crippled warships just sitting here blasting away at extreme range. That should do it, I think. will flood out low 10% really just sitting at 5 and 2 okay that should do it there they go alright so that enemy ship's gonna sink the brisk is at 14% structure you're at nice oh wait that was our own ship that took damage damn We've got less than a 1% chance at a hit here, at almost 3 kilometers. Uh, 
can't repair apparently. Max speed 3.8 knots. Just keep shooting. There, fire and flooding. Is that enough? No. I feel like one or two hits and we might finish him off. No, I'm not going to end the battle. Not until we sink the brisk. No, we lost sight of him. Repair the damn engines, you guys. Can you not? No. Uh, all right, I guess we're gonna have to quit the battle. Should be a victory, though. We we sank a light cruiser and didn't lose our only ship. So five oh nine to eight. Even though the Carlshire was almost sunk, three merged. Three merchants on a CL. Okay. So that moves us to September of the first year of the war. There's an ambush of five of our torpedo boats versus two enemy armored cruisers. And then there's a battle with a battleship, an armored cruiser, and two CLs versus a battleship, two armored cruisers, and a CL. Uh, oh, we also have a convoy battle going on between one CL and CA versus two CLs. So this is going to be a busy turn next turn, but that'll be for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.